Steve Munisteri. In his first press conference since becoming head of the Texas Republican Party, Steve Munisteri chooses Waco. Oh, well, you know, we're targeting this area. The focus of the chairman's campaign sounds familiar, residency requirements, and does State Representative Jim Dunham meet them? Questions Republican Senator Brian Birdwell has been facing for months from the Democratic Party. Nobody disputes that Senator Birdwell currently lives in the district he's trying to represent. That is a huge difference from somebody that currently does not live in the district. It's totally ridiculous and, and sort of pathetic that uh, they want to bring up something that they sued me over a couple of years ago. The GOP did not win that 2002 battle in court. Republicans are not filing a lawsuit this time against Dunham, but want the public to know the state rep has two houses, one in District 56 and another in District 57, which he represents. The chairman alleges Dunham doesn't live in the Chilton home located in that district, and his kids don't go to school there either. I will never move my kids out of their school or disrupt their lives because of politics. I would think you would have a better understanding of the needs of the school district here in the district if his kids went to the schools in this district. It actually was an issue when I ran for office in 1996 and they had a private eye following my wife and kids. As far as we can tell, there's no activity on a regular basis at this home. A campaign move Republicans hope will be a giant step toward a GOP victory at the polls, but one Dunham doesn't think will work. In Waco, Lauren Westbrook, News 10.